Yo, what is good, guys? Welcome back to Enjoy. It is your boy, just Chabala. It is the first video of 2017, and today I'm going to be answering a question from a subscriber. So let's get straight into it. Hello, please help me out. I need help. I'm sure I can change myself. I want to do sports like you do, pull-ups, push-ups, etc. But I don't know the amount of them I should do, etc. I have a lot of questions. Do you have Skype or something? I would love to transform to a better body. Thanks. Paulius. Or Paulus. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry if I messed up. Okay. I got two simple tips for you, Paulius. Or I'll call you P. You know, nickname basis. First of all, start now. It's 2017. Nobody cares for your excuses no more. The excuses you had last year about saying, oh, I'm going to start next year. Next year, 2017. My year. New year, new me. <laughs> no. It's 2017 now. A lot of people, around 93% of people, quit their New Year's resolution a couple of weeks after into the New Year. Don't be a part of that statistic. Be part of that 7% who carries on, who keeps going, and at the end of the year is in a much better position than they were at the start. When you're feeling, oh, this is too hard for me, I can't do this, I can't carry on, remember that when times get tough, you have to endure. Remember, endurance is key. Every master was once a student. Right now, you're a student with enough graft and with enough hard work with enough good information. So listening to me, there's a lot of convoluted information in the fitness industry. Let's stick with it. Be consistent and I promise you, man, you'll get there in the end. Tip number two, this tip is important. Know why you're starting. Why do you want to start training? Because if there's not an emotional attachment to you training, you'll just stop. You'll stop after your first session. Once it gets hard, because you don't have a why, because you don't have a reason why you're doing it, you'll stop. Your little motivation that probably started you going, started you in your journey, it won't be enough. It won't be there anymore. When that motivation gone and it's down to self-discipline, you won't have that discipline because you won't be thinking, okay, I want that. I want to achieve that goal. If your goal is to lose weight, gain weight, I don't know if you're skinny or if I didn't really, um, skinny or overweight, <laughs> you don't really specify that in your email, but put in the work, trust the process. Do not get frustrated. Be patient. One of the biggest reasons why people stop is because they're not patient. They expect to see gains straight away. Even if after a month, two months, three months, you don't see, keep going. Unless, of course, you're like what you're doing is bad. But if I'm telling you what to do, if it's my information, I promise you it will not be bad. It will not be the wrong information. Because I've done it for myself, I've given it to other people, and it works. Okay, now this segment, police, or Paulia, sorry, P, big P, is just for you. Simple beginner, full body workout, push-ups. Look how my back is ovulated here in my scapula retrax. Very simple, elbows pointing backwards with each rep. Do not flare your elbows out because you'll just put your shoulders in a horrible position and you could injure yourself. If normal push-ups are too hard, come on your knees. Same cues as a normal push-up. Make sure your back is nice and straight. And if you're a bad man, put your feet on a chair. Elevated push-ups, try that. They're not as easy as they look. Pipe push-ups for those 3D boulder shoulders. All right. Make sure you come all the way down, all the way up. Do not let your elbows flare up so much that your shoulders are in that position. Because you'll just injure yourself. And once it gets easy, put your uh, legs on a chair. Pull-ups. Use your correct form all the way down, all the way up with each rep. If you can't do a pull-up yet, I've got a variation for you coming. But first, do not be this guy. Are you are you doing CrossFit? Is your name Rich Froning? Do not swing. Don't come halfway up. Full way up and full way down, please. And if that's too hard, do a negative. So this is the eccentric part of the pull-up. And people are usually stronger with that part, so do that. Now, to build those quadzillas, you got to squat, my friend. Do not skip leg day. And do not drive your knees forward because your heels will consequently come off the floor. Make sure to push your hips back first. Otherwise, you'll just break your knees. And if you're gully, you could do a pistol squat. Make sure, again, your heel does not come off the floor. Make sure whatever you do on one side, you're doing on the other side. Don't drive your knees forward first because your heel will come off the floor, as I pointed out there. Yeah. Don't do that. Your heel will come off the floor. You'll break your knee. And if normal pistol squats are too hard, put your hands on a wall. 
come all the way down work on your form first it doesn't matter about how many you're doing or whatever just work on your form then plank back straight don't dip your back down low do stop getting excited don't be doing that keep your back nice and straight and don't push your butt in the air like that unless you know <laughs> i'm joking side plank simple effective if you want to make it harder because a lot of people think it's a very easy movement boom put your leg in the air thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video and you're new subscribe more great content coming in this year 2017 as always guys greatness is contagious god bless have a good day